Sea moss comes from the ocean. It locks onto a rock. Onto a rock. And from that rock, it receives its nutrients. Dr. Sebi, how could that be possible? A plant hold on to a rock? Yes. Scientists have yet to understand how could a plant hold on to a rock and then give you food. Well, you know what it is? They invented a word. This is the word. They call it ionthroferosis. Now dig that. They don't understand the workings of God, but they're going to give it a name. That a plant has the ability to convert a solid oxide substance into a liquid digestible substance. They call it iontrophorosis. Sea moss does that. And every plant does that. But sea moss has iodides, bromides, it has all of the minerals, phosphorus, Phosphorus, which is good for the thyroid gland, which is good for the endocrine system, and it's going to give you energy. And it has muscle food. They call it manito, sea moss. 